Soft mount your FPV motors with a bicycle inner tube. Coming up next on the channel. What's going on guys? Chad CRC back with you here and we're at the quasi bench here to go over something that uh, is kind of new to me but not really new I don't think to the community. I learned this tri uh, trick from a few of my racing buddies and I decided a couple months ago to try it and I've had some interesting results and the whole point is to use just your regular bicycle inner tube to make soft motor mounts now this tire here or tube here along with another one in a package uh, ran four dollars and many of us have paid for silicone or 3d printed mounts like these anywhere from two to three to four dollars per set also i know a lot of people 3d print them in tpu or ninja flex or something like that I've done that myself, but the thing is, is that they, if you, if you look, and I'm going to put up a, a couple pictures here to show what's going on, these things really get pretty gnarly and degrade a lot over time, and they kind of lose their soft mounting ability, um, so everybody claims, and so I am claiming. Now, I don't have any actual technical data to show any type of noise reduction or anything else like that it's just all about like hey it feels better so maybe give it a try but if you take a look at the example of one that i had for this mount here i'm going to take a picture of it compared to the other ones and i've had them all on there the same amount of time and you can definitely see the difference in as far as how much less the inner tube tire has compressed and degraded and you know it still retains uh, that sponginess and stuff where these other ones are pretty much flat uh, this probably is a hair over a millimeter in thickness uh, so it's it's initially going to be about the same but as i said it has retained everything pretty easy to do i'll uh, overlay a picture uh to just kind of show a close-up of the whole theory but what i do is just cut off a piece here and then i take one of my older mounts and i take a sharpie and then what i do with the sharpie is i just blotch in where the holes are supposed to be and then I kind of trim it out and cut it out. Then for the bigger hole on the inside, you can either use a small pair of scissors or a larger hole punch if you have that size, hobby knife to clean it up, whatever. Um, and then for the uh, through holes for the bolts, I just use this regular type of hole punch right here that you get at like Harbor Freight or whatever and you know you just kind of slap it together like that and then i just punch out the hole from the sharpies that mark that i made and then you've got a perfect round hole if you can see that or not i'm not sure and then you can leave them kind of like ovalish like this because a lot of the motors now you know the stator sizes and everything are increasing uh so much so and i think that these are kind of something that once you do it i don't really think you're going to have to do it like over and over like pretty much anytime i replace or change out motors um i i change out these mounts just because they look just absolutely horrible so it's real easy to do 
Um, it is like a little artsy, craftsy time, so it does add a little bit of build time, but you can sit down, and once you get in your groove, you can knock a lot of them out uh, pretty easy. They're a little bit easier to mount because the rubber is a little bit sticky, so it doesn't kind of like slide around a lot on you, so once you get it on the frame and get like one screw started, I usually just kind of start one by hand and then get the next one in with a screwdriver. And as long as you do your pattern uh, correctly with the mount and the Sharpie and do your dots, everything turns out pretty good. So that's just a little tip I just wanted to share with everybody. Uh, take a look at the pictures. It's uh, pretty interesting. Uh, both of these mounts have been on uh, two different quads in the past maybe five to six weeks of flying you know you're constantly torquing these things down a little bit not too tight but to try to get them to uh to stay definitely use loctite some people are against soft mounting in general i never really have uh found a problem with it yet it always seems to help me uh just because especially with the long range six inch type of builds i'm trying to dampen down that noise and as much as we can and that's another advantage about these is that that noise floor isn't going to change as drastic over the time over time so you're not gonna you're gonna be able to hold your tune uh a lot longer so that's gonna do it we'll see you guys on the next video later